So the thing is, when you jump right away into a decision, such as applying for a call center job, and you don't have the proper mindset for it, the tendency is you will just end up quitting your job when you barely even just started. Now onto the questions. Number one, ask yourself, is this really what I want to do? Apparently, there is a very big difference between just liking the job versus hating it. So before you apply for a call center job, it's very important to think whether this is really what you want to do or not, as is the case for any other job in the world. Um, as you know, it's very difficult to do the work that you're assigned to do if you don't even love it or at least like it. So when I started to think about applying for a call center job years back, I did not really know what the challenge entailed, but I was up for it. Uh, I already knew a little bit about the call center industry, but I don't really have uh, so much ideas about you know what it's going to be when I'm already there. But safe to say, I really wanted to pursue a job in the call center industry because I was just fresh out of college and I wanted to have that badge of Little Miss Independence. So I was so hungry for a job. Now the thing is, even though you don't really like the job, you have to at least learn to love it from the very beginning because if you don't, then it will just set you up for failure. Now, some of you may think that I don't really want to have this job, but I need to because I need to help with my family's finances or I really need, I really need to earn money for myself. Well, that's a very good justification. That means that you're thinking of sacrificing some of the things that's important to you to help your family and to help yourself. Which brings us to our next question. Question number two, am I willing to sacrifice? So I've mentioned earlier that uh, when you don't want to do or when you want to do something for your family or for someone else, even though it means giving up whatever you want in your life, that can be considered as an act of sacrifice. Now, remember that in a call center job, you will be working the night shift and most likely you will also have shifting schedules so are you willing to sacrifice your social life or the other things that you do in your life for you to be able to work at night or have a shifting schedule and aside from that you will also be working during holidays and might be working during weekends are those something that you want to give up or if you're a student and you're still studying then are you willing to sacrifice your studies just for a couple of years to start working as a call center agent? You have to ask yourself that. Question number three, am I ready? So are you ready? Because applying or working in a call center means that you have to have, uh, you have to have an emotional stability, mental, and physical stability. You have to be able to do some adjustments with your lifestyle because first of all, you will be sleeping during the day or you will not have enough time to spend with your friends anymore or with your barcada anymore because you need to work at night and sometimes you also need to catch up on sleep during weekends and you also have to understand that um, you will be speaking with different types of people, like your customers over the phone. If you're not a day sleeper or if you're not used to sleeping during the day, you might feel unusually tired. And it's very normal because you haven't adjusted yet to the call center lifestyle. Of course, especially if you're new or if you haven't done this kind of thing before. Okay, so think of that when you're applying for a call center. Question number four. What about my family? Yes, what about your family? I know you are important because you will be the one to decide whatever it is you want to do with your life, but your family is also important. So what I'm just trying to say is, have you considered looking at your current family situation? 
For example, if you have a sick family member or if you have young kids, who do you think will take care of them when you're away or when you're working at night? It is very difficult to go to work when you are constantly worried or constantly stressing about what is happening back at home because no one can take care of them. Eventually, you will just not be able to concentrate and perform well because your mind is somewhere else. So you have to consider at least hiring a babysitter if you can already afford that or um, look for ways on how you can go around that situation in your life. Question number five, what about my health? Now, before you actually um, start working, you will have a pre-employment medical examination or physical examination. And although you might be uh, classified as healthy, it's also very possible that you have a history of an illness that might hinder you from working or from performing. Uh, evaluate your health and your lifestyle first. If you need to consult your doctor or consult a physician, then go ahead and do so because you don't want to get sick while doing all the work. Number six, am I willing to commit? Commitment is such a big and a strong word and not a lot of people actually commit to that word commitment. When I, uh, when I decided to apply for a call center, um, I knew that, although I knew that I was already hired, I still got nervous when I was presented with so many forms and so many, uh, so many things to sign and also the job contract and I wasn't really sure if I was going to sign it or I was going to go for it. So I had to call my mother to ask her if it's okay to work far away from home, to which she agreed on. So in that case, I felt confident that I knew I can commit to it and I needed to be on the job for at least five months because I have a relocation package. Otherwise, I will have to pay uh, the allowance that they will give me. Question number seven and the last question. How will I survive? The key is for us to have willingness to move forward and to go on with whatever we want to do. And again, going back to the first question, we have to be ready and we have to know that this is really the job that we want to do and the job that we think we will learn to love in the long run. So there's a reason that these questions are questions. Sometimes we don't really have to answer these questions and we will just know how you know, how fulfilling it is or how difficult it is once you're already there working or once you're already fed to the lions in the battlefield, right? So you don't have to pressure yourself too much, although you do have to think about these questions and consider first the different factors before you decide to apply. Trust me, I have seen so many people and so many employees who just gave up in the middle of everything or before they even started yet, because they are not prepared or they don't have the proper mindset to continue the job that a call center entails. Is this really what I want to do? Am I willing to sacrifice? Am I ready? What about my health? What about my family? Am I willing to commit? And lastly, how will I survive? So sometimes, again, you will not have the question, we will not have the answers rather to those questions, but it's okay. Sometimes you just have, go for it. At least just give it a thought. And that's about it for now. Thank you so much for listening. I hope I did not waste your time and I hope you learned something from this. If you want to know more about the call center lifestyle and more tips about it, then please just hit me up on the comment section below. It's your turn to shine. Share something. Have you ever considered applying for a call center? And what questions did you ask yourself when you first started to decide working in a call center? Now, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, I'm going to link my YouTube channel on the description as well. Again, thank you so much and bye Ninja, see you soon.